filling in these cracks along here with some Bondo. I know it's going to crack, but it's going to be a smaller crack. And then I'll come back with some big stretch and go over it, which will fill it and I'll never see it again. So I'm going to mix up some Bondo, which is always a fun part. I try not to make it too hot so it doesn't go off too quickly. But sometimes it does. It seems like a lot, but it's not. My uh, shower will come somewhere in here. I'm not sure exactly where. So that's why I'm going to fill this crack in these, some of these holes. Because this will be painted. Probably a light gray. I think I'm going to go with gray and wood this time. Instead of black and wood. Maybe a little bit lighter overall. I'm like playing with some mud. As I call it. I used to do custom car painting and body work a long, long time ago. Custom motorcycles. All right. Let me take a quick look in the sun here. Make sure we're uh, mixed up good enough. Not quite enough. This stuff is messy, but it works. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm probably going to start over here somewhere because I know it's coming around into here somewhere. So I'm just going to take off some and force it down in. Pick that up later. I'm just going to smooth it a little bit. I'm going to come back with the belt sander in just a Lock any high spots down. Smoothing it a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to hit it with a belt sander. So I'll take it all down. All right, got more down here, which you probably can't see. But I'm going to continue on until it's all done. Okay, well, I think I've got most of the spots filled in, the cracks and things. Again, these walls will be the back of the cabinets, except in here where the digital printer is going to go. I'm going to uh, probably put some beadboard back there just to make that cubby hole nice. Then all the rest of the holes will be a lot smaller. So I'll hit this with the belt sander just to knock it down. And my shower enclosure will wrap around here somewhere. I think right around here. And then back here from here all the way to the the uh, wardrobe across here almost eight feet will be uh, backsplash so this will all be countertop across here all the way over to here where this wall will go in so the cabinets will come down here somewhere in here about 12 inches down and then Countertop will be right down here somewhere, just underneath these. So this build is on a major budget because all I have is the money that I have left from selling the shuttle bus. So when that runs out, then I got to keep working the sign shop. To earn money so if you need any decals logo designs magnetics vinyl graphics full color printing let me know because that money will go right back into this project and because i don't have the overhead a sticks and bricks has my prices are a whole lot cheaper i don't have to charge nearly as much but once i get this done then yay i get on to the ceiling 
And once I get this, well, after I get this done and painted, then I go to the ceiling and get that done. And then, yay, I get to go on the floor. And look at this. It's halfway clean for a change. And I cleaned it up the other day. I had to. It was a mess. And once I get the flooring in, then I start putting my walls in. And they'll be one by twos with quarter inch sheeting on both sides. And then I'll build cabinets, just like a regular cabinet, and then bolt it in. All right. So again, if you need any graphics, any signs, any logos, magnetics, banners, koozies, t-shirts. I do short run t-shirts, full color or just vinyl, one color. Let me know. Because all that money, again, will go right back into this project. I'm hoping to finish by September. Got a ways to go and a lot of money to spend yet. All right. Keep watching. Leave comments. And any questions you have, just ask away. Well, got the last bit of Bondo on here. It's pretty smooth, but I'm still going to sand it. Then I'm going to sand all the walls and get ready to paint. Hopefully tomorrow or Monday I'll get to paint. We'll see. Okay, all sanded and ready to prime. I blew it out with a leaf blower. What you hear rattling is that uh, spring up there. I gotta tighten it up. So, getting ready to, to actually paint it all white in here. Should be pretty bright. You can see I started right there. It's gonna make a big difference. Come on back and keep on watching. Okay, I've got first coat of paint in here. It's a lot brighter. And it's soaked into the wood pretty good because this is really old, dry plywood. As you can see, it's just the first coat. I'll put a second coat on it, strictly for preservation, I guess. On the back door here, I've still got to insulate that, pull that off and insulate it. So I'm actually not going to paint that white. If I paint anything, it'll be a dark gray deck paint. Something that'll hold up. So once I get the second coat on, and all these little spots filled with some caulking, then I start on the ceiling. Once the ceiling is done, then I start on the floor. Once the flooring's done, I'm going to have to do some a little bit of plumbing before I start putting the walls up. Get the shower plumbed in and the drain plumbed in. I've got to actually build a shower pan because it's such an unusual shape. So, little by little, I'm going to try and get on it this week and get the second coat on and possibly start putting up this piece of aluminum that I'm putting up. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I want something so I can screw in between the pieces. I'll be able to screw up into some aluminum so I don't get any of this up and down, up and down stuff. Yeah, I just put a thermostat in my truck. Hopefully that's going to take care of the problem. Couldn't get any heat out of it. So I got in here and finished up the paint. And I'm not going to put anything here because there's going to be shower wall comes curves around up into here. I'm not sure exactly where just yet, but somewhere. So it's looking good. A lot brighter in here. All right, I think I'm going to use beadboard up here on the ceiling. 
probably beadboard behind the bed area. I'm not sure what I'm going to use in the big cabinets over here yet. Something on the wall. And I'll probably use some tile board over here above the sink. And I'm going to put a big graphic on it there. I think I'm going to put a big graphic on the back side of this uh, Murphy table. I've got a Murphy print table here. And over there is going to be my actual work table underneath the Murphy bed. So I'll be showing you all this as I build it. And I'm not worried about painting up there because there's going to be an electrical raceway that goes down and will cover all that and be painted away. All right, that's it for now. Keep checking back. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section. If you need any signs, any decals, any logos design, hit me up. I'm working too while doing all this other stuff. All right. Talk at you soon.